What is up guys, this is going to be a quick commentary off of a team scrim we had yesterday. Um, this isn't going to be the most exciting gameplay, I mean it is kind of boring. Uh, we really destroyed these guys, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but this is, gameplay is kind of fast, so I thought it would be a nice, a nice gameplay for me to post up. Uh, I did do considerably well. During this gameplay I want to talk about a few things, uh, a few new things that happened. Um, my last commentary I talked about school. And uh, right now I just got back from school, and I was not expecting to do this commentary. I just had, I had time, had some free time on my hands, and I did promise you guys one whether or not you liked it or wanted it. Uh, in my last video, I said I was going to post commentaries daily, and uh, so I'm posting this one. Uh, I have not really planned it out, but I know there are things that I want to talk about, so I'm just going to roll with it. The first thing I want to talk about is my new team as of now. So my new team, hopefully we're going to stick together for the next four weeks and go to Anaheim and shred shit. But um, I really wanted this to happen. I, I mean, I really want this team to stick. So um, the team right now is me, Trev, IBZ, Rybad, and Nifty. Now, me and Nifty were previously on Vision. You guys should know that. And, um, well, my, my name is Vision. My name is Vision Guard, and his name is Vision Nifty. We were previously on Vision, and um, we left for uh, reasons that you could look in my last commentary, or in one of my commentaries uh, that explained, that says we left Vision, reasons why we left Vision. And uh, you guys can watch that if you want. But we left Vision to join up with Trev and Ibad. And, um, we, you know, this has been a really good, really good s solid squad for us. Uh, we left for because we just weren't really clicking. And um, there were also some personal issues. And I feel like we're really clicking with this squad. And uh, so our team name is Execution. Or as you see in Trev Gamer Tag, XCN for short. And um, I went to UMG with the team XCN, or not with the team XCN, but with the name XCN, and I went with Trev, and uh, we placed fifth, so I mean, uh, it's a nice a nice um, brand for us already. Uh, the team name XCN already has an accomplishment. <laughs> no, um, that's just a little joke. Not really, but whatever. Anyways, all right, so I want to talk about my new role. Uh, I'm now running Anchor, and so uh, you're going to see me playing a lot slower. You're going to see me running the Anchor. Uh, if any of you don't know what an anchor is, an anchor is someone who holds the spawns for his teammates and uh, tries to fend off the other or the opposing the opposing enemy from getting to the hard point. He tries to fend them off as much as possible, and um, that's really what the anchor's job is: to hold spawns and to get the spawns. Now, obviously, for those of you that do know, know that the anchor is a pretty hard role, or at least I think it's a pretty hard role. Um, I'm not usually an anchor. I mean, I know how to anchor. I've done it before. I've played on teams where I was said to anchor and I had to anchor. And so it's not something very uh, uncommon for me. But um, it is it is not my best. It's not my best um, role. So I am running it. I've been doing it fairly well. And I'm very happy that I can run it and do it fairly well. Um, this kid's going to charge at me. That's cute. Um... So you're going to see me running anchor a lot, and my, all my vids are going to see me running anchor um, for team scrims, or at least unless we change anything, unless we have new strats. But we haven't had that any any of those yet, so I'm going to be running anchor, and uh, I mean, hope you guys will like some anchor gameplay. But um, that's that for now. And um, the other thing I want to talk about is the SMR. Now, obviously, it would be nice to put up a gameplay of using an SMR um, to talk about the SMR, but unfortunately, I don't have any of that. Because I haven't been running the SMR uh, lately in the past few days. That was a huge kill. Got me another sentry. But I did die by Trev stun, whatever the fuck that was. Um, but, um, yeah, so the SMR. Now, I have not used the SMR on land, so I cannot give you any details about it on land. That's not, that's not going to... You're not going to get that any, any from me until after Anaheim. Or, actually, no. I'm going to a local... Um, I think on June 13th, so like a week after school, I'm going to go to a local with a local team, and um, hopefully we can win that, take home some cash, But uh, and I'll be using SMR there because I really will want to try it out. I thought it was a teammate shooting behind me at the moment. Um, uh, I didn't expect it to be an enemy. It didn't sound like an enemy's bullets because enemy's bullets have certain sounds. No, um, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to try out the SMR, the SMR on land then. For now, I know the SMR is a great gun. The reason why I think it's a great gun is because it, it's a two-shot kill. I think it's a two-shot kill from anywhere up to long range. So, medi short range, medium range, fairly long range. But once it gets obviously really, really long range, it's no longer two-shot kill. But it is a two-shot kill at most ranges where you could get a kill. 
So, it's obviously great for that reason. A bad thing about it is that it has an insane recoil. Oh, my bad. Um, it has a crazy recoil. The recoil is, like, ridiculous. And I do like to shoot fairly fast. If you guys seen any of my FAL gameplay, um, I, have a, I have a video using the FAL. Um, my FAL is pretty fast. And so when I use the SMR, it is restricted to how fast it can shoot. But, um... Not that much, but I do shoot pretty fast with it. So when I do shoot faster, the faster I shoot, the bigger the recoil. So that is very annoying. So that's one of its downfalls. And obviously the gun's recoil itself, it's just immense. And when you get shot at, the recoil is pretty big. Um, that's that's really it. That's all I have for the SMR. Obviously I'm gonna I want to wait to use it on land before I can give you guys more information about it. Um, but until then, I'm going to be using the M8 until I go to that local. Because once I do get to that local, I still will have three weeks whether or not I decide um, to use the SMR or not online anymore. For now, I'm not going to. I am just going to wait the next two weeks to go to that local and try it out. Because if it is bad on land, I'm not going to want to have too much practice with it. Because, you know, I want to keep my M8 shot, um, eight shot up to par. And I got damn bombarded. Jesus. That kid should have died, though. Anyways. Um, so the last thing I kind of want to talk about before I head out, before this video is over, um, I want to talk about dedication and just persistence. So dedication, you, the only, the only way a team can go far is with dedication. Now that sounds obviously very, fairly cheesy and like pretty constant. You guys hear that a lot, that dedication will get you everywhere. It's 100% true. That's why you hear it a lot. Now, what, what it means in terms of COD is you have to grind the most. Like, for you to go anywhere in COD, I mean, obviously, I knew this all along, but I didn't realize how big it was. You, for you, for you to make it anywhere in COD, you have to grind as hard, as hard as possible with a team. Now, obviously, grinding with separate teams is going to get you, like, your personal skill up, which is great because it gets you better and you have better chances because you'll be better. But you need team, you need team dedication. Now, if you see a player on your team, you know, who's always, like, unprofessional, or I don't want to say unprofessional, I want to say, like, not serious, that's a problem, because, you know, you need, you need to be able to grind as hard as possible, because the more you play together, the more chemistry you get, and chemistry controls everything in any team-based game. The reason why Impact or Farico is so good is because they've grinded the most out of every team. Every other pro team, every other any team, that's the reason why they've had the four-peat. That's the reason why they've won all these tournaments. They beat an Optic and Envy and Complexity. The only reason why is because they've grinded more than all those other teams. They play, they play so much, and they go through so much theater, and they go over so much strats that it's just Im impenetrable and impossible to beat them. Obviously, it's possible to beat them, but you have to play as equal or more. Unless you're all just personally better than them, which is very hard because they're very, they're four very great players. So what I'm trying to say is that any team, no matter how good the player, obviously you guys need personal skill for you to compete at the highest level. But even if you're not as good, individually as good as the whole other team, your chemistry alone is going to break the other team and you're going to win because you have so much chemistry in the, in the terms of your strats are so much better, your not so much better, but they're more complete. Your stats are complete. Your your gameplay itself is complete, and your rotations are complete. Rotations are crazy huge. I know this now because I mean I used to blame the anchor. I used because I used to be an aggressive AR. I used to say, dude, you're not anchoring at all. Now that I'm running an anchor, I see things from the other side, and I know that how hard I know how hard it is to anchor. I know how hard it is when you're when you think you're doing the right thing or you are doing the right thing, and then an unfortunate. A series of unfortunate events unrolls and you know you just you lose the anchor and all your whole team just resets spawns and you're just like you know what shit um i'm kind of back to square zero and then everyone's like dude you have to anchor you have to watch this you have to watch that it's very annoying um so that's why team rotations are crazy crazy huge and so with more chemistry you're going to get better team rotations more team rotations better understandings of when to rotate your whole team's gonna listen and they're all gonna know what to do off the start when you get into a hard point you're all gonna go straight to a certain a certain spot that you're supposed to watch and that's what's gonna help you win games obviously team scrims are great 
but the more you go over gameplay and the more you, you the more you go over like strats it's potentially gonna do more work for you so that's obviously the end of the gameplay itself yeah. <laughs> obviously but um i'm gonna talk a little bit more because i think that you guys should really understand how much i'm stressing this team rotations are huge no, um, you guys, you guys really need to pick that up though. That if you are looking for a team, even if they're not as good as you, or you feel they're not as good as you, try to play with kids that you like, because obviously the more you like them, the more fun it's gonna be. So have fun, but also be dedicated and listen. When I mean grind, you guys have to grind strats more than team scrims essentially. Obviously, team scrims are great because it sees it shows you where you are as a standing. But strats are huge because you go over the strats and then you can try to execute them in team scrims. And I promise you, if this, if you play the same team twice after one day of strats, your gameplay is going to be so much better because you guys aren't going to be struggling to do individual work as a as a team and more of teamwork as an individual. If that makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this gameplay. I think I just hit 100 subscribers, so I'm really happy for that. And I uh, appreciate everything. Please like the gameplay. That really helps out. Follow the, um, follow my Twitter. Subscribe. Everything. All that good stuff. And I'll uh, see you guys in my next commentary. Peace.